Hello guys and welcome. This right here is a solution to this quadratic equation and we have to show that indeed it is true. But before we start, let's pay attention to this A here. This A can never be zero and the reason is that if it is zero, then it means that the rule of this term will disappear. And if it does that, then we are going to have bx plus c, which is never a quadratic equation. And again, if a is equal to zero, then it means that right here, we are going to have the denominator to be zero, which will make everything undefined. So before we start, it is important for us to state that x, or sorry, a is never equal to zero. This statement is pretty important. So let's begin. Like I said, method of computing the squares. The first method is that we have to make sure that the leading coefficient of x squared is 1. And to do that, we have to divide the term by a. So that this and this will go and we'll be left with x to the power 2 plus b over ax, just like this. Then I will leave a huge space and then come here. But I will just transpose c over a, which will be negative c over a, just like this. And the reason why I left this huge space is that we are going to put a magic number that will make the whole of this one a perfect square. And what is this magic number? Check this out. The magic number is that multiply the coefficient of x by one half, square the results, and then add to each side of the equation. So the one that we put here will be the magic number. This is what I mean. The coefficient of x is b over a. I will just multiply this one by one half, then square the results. This will be equal to b times one is b divided by two a or to the power two. Then I'll add this result to each side of the equation, b over two a squared. Then I'll add the same thing to this side, b over two a squared, just like that. Cool. Now we can see that this is a perfect square which could be written as x plus b over 2a or squared. This is because if you expand this one, you still be getting this back. So it seems like we have done nothing to the left hand side of the equation. Easy. And this will be equal to, I will just write this, c over a, then try to simplify this. Plus b squared is still b squared divided by 2a squared, that will be 4a squared. Now, we have two separate fractions. We can easily combine them if their denominators are the same. So what I'll do is that I'll just keep the left-hand side of the equation. Yes. Now that I'm done with the left-hand side, we have to make sure their denominators are the same. So I'll just have to multiply this one by 4a, and then this one also by for a, for a times a is a squared. We have a squared also here just like that. So I will just write one of them as the LCM for a squared. Then the numerators, I will combine them. We have b squared, then minus for a times negative c, that will be minus for a c, just like that. Now check this out. We are looking for x, but we have the whole of this all squared. Before we can find x, we need to get rid of this square here. So let's do that by keeping square root on each side of the equation. And of course, we are not forgetting our plus or minus, very important. This square and then the square root will go, then on the left-hand side, we'll be left with x plus b over 2a. Then the right-hand side, in fact, we can simplify this this way. Check this out. I'll just put my plus or minus, then square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 4a squared, then square root of this right here. Square root of 4 will be 2. Then square root of a squared, the square will cancel out the square root and we'll be left with this a, this way. We have x here, we have this one. Let's let x be on the left-hand side, then everything else go to the right-hand side. So I'm just going to write it here. We have x is equal to, this is positive, it, if it comes here, it will be minus b over 2a, then plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. 
you have two different fractions with the same denominators. Actually, you can write one of the denominators as the LCM, which is 2A. Then we have minus B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC, just like this. And you can clearly see that what is here is the exact same as what the question is asking for. So I think that is pretty much it. Let me put on my letters. It's really, really important and precious to me. Thanks a lot for watching. Make my channel one of the best channels on YouTube by subscribing, liking the videos, and then sharing to your friends. And of course, don't forget to tap on the bell notification because if you do that, whenever I upload a new video, you'll be the first person to get notified. See you again on the next video. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.